everybody, it's Jojo here, and today I want to talk about us using our time wisely. I don't know about you, but sometimes when it comes to doing our schoolwork, or if we've got spellings, or if we've got end of topic tests, we can sometimes feel as if we've got so much to do, but actually it can be really hard to get going. So what I'd like to introduce you to is work with productivity. And sometimes in life, what we need to do is we need to be productive with our time. So instead of knowing all the things that we need to do, and that might be chores around the house, it might be schoolwork, I need us to remember and remind ourselves that we need to take ownership and we need to remind ourselves about the things that we need to do. And in order to achieve them is by being productive. The thing is though, with being productive is it's really hard because there's this thing called distractions. And maybe you're using a device right now by watching me that's a distraction from maybe you doing something that needs to be done. So I've got some top tips for you to consider when you need to do this work and you need to be more productive. My first one is that when you've got work that needs to be done, I want you to prioritise doing that work, okay? Now, it's all very easy to think that, oh, I'll save that until it needs to be handed in. Oh, it doesn't matter about that. But it does because what can happen is that we can be thinking about it or worrying about it at the back of our mind. So actually what's really handy is to get what needs to be done and get it done, okay? Really focus on getting it done. And one of my top tips there is to imagine how good it's gonna feel when you have it done. And whether that's you handing in the piece of work early or whether that's you just feeling as if you're proud of yourself because you've already done it and you're hearing your friends that need to do it. It's just about realizing that you are trying your hardest and that, that's brilliant. My second one, and I've already mentioned it, is about limiting your distractions. So if you're somebody that has um, a tech piece, um, whether that might be a tablet, it might be um, music, it might be a phone, I want you to become aware that that can really interfere in you being able to concentrate on that piece of work when you hear that going off or when you see it lighting up or when you know that there's a new video that needs to be watched or anything like that. So what we can do there is we can limit our distractions, okay? And in order to limit our distractions, sometimes means taking them away or putting them where we can't see them. It's called out of sight, out of mind, which can be quite handy. But when you don't have those distractions will allow you to really crack on and get that work done. Another top tip is that sometimes when it feels as if it's such a huge piece of work or such a huge task that you need to do, I want you to do something where you get to break it down. So instead of looking at it as this complete whole, I don't know, maybe a sheet of maths that needs to be done, okay, all of it, maybe what you can do is just focus on one step, one column at a time, okay? So don't look at the whole thing, and if you maybe need to cover up the other pieces of work that need to be done, then do that, but just focus on one bit at a time. Because sometimes what can happen is we can feel so overwhelmed, so overwhelmed, that it can put us off. But by being productive, by really starting to get and take control of, of, of our life when it comes to maybe the silly things such as learning, will allow us to really enjoy those good times. So yes, there's some goals and some top tips to help you make sure that you boost your productivity, you boost that ability to recognise what's important, but also in order for you to really achieve it and do it, which is sometimes the trickiest bit. Anyway, stay awesome and I'll see you next week. Bye everybody.